So today we're going to be converting this electric bike into one with a regenerative braking system. So let's get straight into it. So the reason why most electric bikes can't do regenerative braking is to do with the power delivery system. Basically it's got a one-way clutch. It only allows power to exit the motor. We're going to weld it today so that power can go in both directions. I'll show you how. Now we're going to remove these six bolts and lift the motor out. Let's proceed. After removing these six bolts, you're going to need to remove everything on the other side, all these little bolts here as well. I mean, nuts, sorry. Be careful, make notes of what order they went in when they fitted on originally, because you're going to need to refit them in the same order. Many electric bikes don't have a round axle, they actually have like a slot on it. So one trick if you need to hold it is just put a spanner on that like that, and it'll just fit perfectly. That'll allow you to get a grip on the other bolts. So let's give that a try now. There we go, that's done that. I'll just hold that in, I'll screw that. So the plan is to weld the clutch together, but that involves a lot of electricity. motor just slides straight out. As you can see it's in perfect condition but it has a lot of expensive valuable electronics in there and I don't want massive surges of electric energy running through something that has such delicate electronics near it. So instead I'm going to remove this and work on it independently that way it can't damage any of the electric. So the first step is going to be to remove this little pin here. I don't actually know what they call these things. But... So once you remove the motor you're going to want to put one of these puller tools on. These don't cost much on eBay. And then you've just basically got to undo it and lift it out. I'll show you how now. So we're going to weld these two together. Let's jump right to it. So next you want to make sure that you've cleaned it properly. So yeah, get that in there nice and deep. Well, there we are. still hot. So our goal now is to clear away as much of this slag as we can get rid of, as that's definitely not going to do um, <laughs> very well in a gearbox. So let's just use a hammer and try and clear that away and brush it off. I'll let it cool a little bit. Okay, and here we have it welded up and cleaned. It does take a very thorough clean. Anything that you fail to clean, the little bits of metal will just get lodged into the plastic gears. Um, they'll absorb it, which will damage them. But uh, these only cost about five, 
dollars to replace uh, so you can actually get these for pretty cheap but obviously you want it to be as clean as possible because you don't want to be replacing them uh, so now we're going to put it back onto the wheel uh, give it some fresh grease and uh, see how it all runs um, this will now allow the bike to do regenerative braking so to reattach it you look for the slot there line it up with the spot there uh, as you can see just there oh sorry about that and put them both together now being plastic you obviously don't want to force it see okay then that should do each of the gears has to fit onto the, the wheel let's get this from a different angle okay so it was at this point that things really started to go wrong for me uh, I didn't know at the time but the welding had changed the size of the clutch it was Still wide enough to be hammered halfway on, but not all of the way. So when I tried to to hammer it, I really used a lot of force, so now it can't be removed. So welding basically destroyed the clutch, then putting it on, hammering it onto the axle so hard as was necessary, ended up destroying the, well not destroying the motor, but disabling it. There's no way I can do anything with it right now. Um, so yeah, the whole system's broke, and this is basically part of the realities that you're going to experience as you try to work on your bike. Sometimes you'll break things. Um, I'm going to need an angle grinder to remove this, uh, this clutch, or to destroy it. Uh, hopefully I can preserve the motor, because that was still okay. Uh, hopefully I can look after everything else, but the, it looks like the clutch now will have to be angle grinded off. So yeah, um, part two. Uh, sorry about this, I'm going to have to order another clutch, which should take a month or two to arrive. Um, and then I'll, I'll try and get that video made of part two, when we actually get this thing done properly. Uh, until then, my apologies. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can do at the moment, but if you do uh, subscribe and hit the notifications bell then when the new video comes through that will that'll hit your uh, it'll hit your inbox and you'll be able to have a look and see how it ended up uh, but for now I didn't know it at the time but basically the whole thing was a failure at the same time um, you've learned a lesson today which is when you work on your bike get ready for something to go wrong because it could you know this is the reality of, of, of building and repairing bikes sometimes something goes wrong and you're going to need a spare part, and a, a spare part with the pandemic, you know, it can take a month or two to come through. So just be careful working on your own bike. Uh, oh yeah, the legal disclaimer, this is all for entertainment, do not try this at home. You know the rest, always wear safety goggles, but don't try this at home. <laughs> so yeah, um, if this has been helpful, please do consider leaving a thumbs up, and uh, uh, you know, a like. And, uh, and subscribing if you want to see part two when we finally get get around to doing that. And yeah, yeah, be careful when working on your own bike. Take care.